And all right, now every year around Australia, 20,000 babies are born premature. But for the mums and dads, it's a long and agonising journey. One family shared their story with today's Alison Fletcher. Just another ordinary miracle today. Officially, little Jensen Pritchard shouldn't be here yet. Due to arrive in November, he was born almost four months early, at just 25 weeks, when Mum Neve caught a bacterial infection that threatened her unborn child's life. I was, I think, in a bit of denial. I kept thinking, no, 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 my waters haven't broken, I'm going to be fine, this baby will stay in there, I'll be fine. In fact, it was touch and go. I was down there in theatres where he was born, um, resuscitating him, but his lungs were very, very stiff indeed. I really thought we were going to lose him there and then in theatres. Jensen hung on, only to be rushed to surgery a few days later to stitch up a hole in his bowel. It's an hour by hour thing, and that's, that's the thing you've got to get used to. It. As the hours and days went on, Neve and Tim gave lots of cuddles and stayed incredibly positive. He really benefits from the cuddles when he doesn't have them. He just seems to just drop a little bit with his progress and when he has his cuddles every day, he just does so well. They were optimistic because they'd been through it all before. Jensen's older sister, Layla, was also a Premie, one of around 2,000 born each year at Brisbane's Mater Hospital. I think our little girl, she's very tough and you see that in him as well. And yesterday he was trying to rip all his tubes out and, yeah, he's a fighter. Yeah, I'm in trouble when he's too. <laughs> <laughs> Survival rates of babies born too soon are improving, <laughs> thanks mostly to advancements in technology. Now 28 weeks, you know, is just plain sailing in general. And, um, you know, really we're down to 23, 24 weeks of surviving. Seven weeks on, Jensen is surprising everyone with his progress. I am so proud of him. I'm one of those mums who just gushes about their child and goes on and on and on about him. I'm so proud of him. Mum and Dad hope he'll be out of hospital by the end of October. As for his chances of being an older brother... No, no chance. <laughs> no, no, we've won the lotto twice. I don't think we're going to push enough. our luck again. It's just another Those amazing medical teams. And to help babies like Jensen, a house built entirely by volunteers will be auctioned at the end of October. And you can buy tickets at houseforlife.com.au. That's houseforlife.com.au. Fantastic thing to do.